of his eye. Sit right down, we're gonna give you the scoop with Ryan Pfeiffer. Stammer, lamma, ding dong, loop de loop. This is the story of a guy named Mr. Boop. You're listening to Being Mr. Boop. Everything is terrible. My wife left me and she took the fucking kids. Uh, tagline author Max Devo. Uh, my name is Ryan Pfeiffer and I am Mr. Boop. Uh, I guess no one's going to ask me what happened to today's Mr. Boop, so I'm just going to answer it. In today's, it, well, it's, first of all, it's Tuesday, August 4th, 2020. Today we're reading the 141st ever Mr. Boop strip. And what happens in today's Mr. Boop, it, well, I'll tell you. That's right. What, hey, what happens in today's Mr. Boop? Well, I'll tell you, Ryan. In today's Mr. Boop, this is an unhealthy relationship. And furthermore, shout a synopsis, like father, like son-in-law. That's weird. Don't know what he means, but don't know what Mr. Robbins could mean by that. Let's find out. So we got four panels here. Excuse me. Uh, panel one. We see. I'll say this is the flapper shot. Yeah, this is a pretty, pretty establishing shot. We see a sort of like a movie set, I guess. It's 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 like a it's a studio set. I won't say it's a movie. I don't know what I don't know what they're filming here, but it's a like it's a it's a studio. They're we're inside a studio. Um, this is one of the more elaborate panels for a Mister Boop strip that I've ever seen. Uh, we see Betty in the in the back of the of the panel because this is there's there's a lot of, there's perspective in this more than usual, and she's in the back. We see a camera towards the uh, right of her, and closest to the audience, there's also a panel on the left that's, they're both pointing towards her at different angles, and she's standing on, like, a a backdrop that's been placed, Uh, it's not like, it's not a full-on set, it's just like a, a backdrop with clouds on it, and there's also, there's like, um, cut out like big set piece clouds hanging from the ceiling, hanging from the rafters, which we can see a bit of uh, over the ceiling. And there's uh, lights at the top, like all, all, all pointing down. And there's an, another, there's also a stand up, um, I don't know what you would call it. It's, it's one of those like, um, it's, it's one of those like box lights. Is that what they're called? Let me see, box lights. Y- yes. If you Google box lights, that's what comes up. So lighting boxes. So it's it's used for production. There's things like this, uh, and it's it's right next to her. It's like pointing right next to her. If they were, I mean, it looks like it's in the way of of the camera on the right. So uh, that's I don't know why they put it there. That's that's kind of that's sloppy filmmaking. Uh, and she's just kind of standing around, her arms are together, but she's really far away, we can't really see where her arms are together. Oh, and she's wearing an angel costume, I forgot to mention that. She's, um, not in her usual Betty Boop outfit, she's, she's got angel wings, and her dress is white and, and more flowy. I guess it's usually colored white, maybe. Is it? Uh, hard to tell, because I only see her in... Well, anyway, uh, and she's got a, a, a halo, uh above her head it's not floating through magic it's just like a little stick holding it up oh and there's a speech bubble coming off from the right uh, and it's above her head but it's it's coming off from the right and it says take five every i assume this is her dad the titular not titular mr boop saying this we have to say the full title now uh when we're saying his name uh i assume it's her dad saying this so he says Take five, everyone. Two electro points. Oh, by the way, so the the camera on the right, not a lot of it's 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 far away. It's it's like it's it's like the size of Betty. It's like it's not close to us, so we don't see a lot of detail. But the the camera on the left, which is close to us, we see a lot more detail. We see like knobs on the the spools. These are like old timey, like generic, like. Uh, cartoon type cameras like the really really old like the type if you were draw if you were making a, f- a logo 
with a with a ca- with a camera in it for 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 a filmmaking uh, company or channel or whatever, it would probably have this, you know, with this those spools of film, that type of camera, um, and. But it's not. I wouldn't say it's old timey because it's because the 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 ba- the body of it is still has like buttons and shit on it. So it's just, it's like a. I guess it's a modern film camera, probably. A mod- I don't know. I don't know what they would what a, a film type camera would look like now with that. But I assume it would look similar to this still. I'm not sure. I've never been on a set or anything. They're both on tripods, also obviously. Um, panel two. We get a cl- a closer. We we is, we we kind of pull in to see to see Betty more, but we don't see any more in the background. The we don't the the first shot was so elaborate he just didn't bother drawing the background at all for the next three panels. Um, so we see, but we see Betty in a bit more detail. We see more feathers on her wings. We see, um, like the upper part of like the the (laughs) i don't know what you would call this part of the dress the like the upper torso part you 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 know what i'm talking about um it's it's like fluffier than the than the flowy the rest of the part of the dress um and she's still wearing her earrings so you know there's that um I think she she usually wears bracelets, right? She's not wearing bracelets here. She's wearing handcuffs. That's why her arms are together. They're handcuffed together in front of her. Uh, we also she's so she's on the right of the panel. We also see her dad, the titular, not just titular, Mister Boop, on the left of the panel. Um, I think this is the first time we've seen him standing up. Maybe unless he stood up in the divorce encounter. Or, yeah, I don't know. I, we usually see him at his desk. I think so. I feel like this is the first time we've seen him not at his desk. I'm not gonna go back and check because that would distract from the podcast, and I don't want to vamp for me. Um, but he he has his hands together, but it's not quite the whatever that character on Neon Genesis of Evangelion's name is. Uh, pose. It's not quite that pose. He's just kind of wringing his hands. It looks like. Or it's it's kind of like a it's kind of a mix of like wringing it, it, it kind of both has the vibes of wringing his hands like evilly, but also like um, clasping his hands together like a a proud father. So that's a, that's an interesting mix of those of the, of that. Um, I don't know if it was intentional or not. He's wearing his gloves also, but it's but yeah, I mean because that kind of describes. He has both. He has both, both of that, those traits going on, and he's like maniacally grinning and looking all over at Betty. Um, and he said he's got a speech bubble that says, "So, Electries, how are you enjoying being home, my dearest Electral Heart?" And Betty is um, looking angry and grimacing and and looking over at him, and she says. I'll never forgive you for this electro point. Um, panel three. We cut. Uh, we cut in even more. We 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 zoom in even more. It's just the titular, not titular, Mister Boop. So we don't see Betty anymore because it's it's zoomed in further. Um, and he's. This is an interesting expression. Um, well, first of all, he has. He's. He's doing like with his hand up to he he does one of his hands up to his chest in a like who me type type of position like um that's kind of his expression in general but not that's not what he's doing um he it's it's almost like he's doing like a a poggers face I hate to say it but that's kind of what it reminds me of um but with but with like ten times the teeth um. We see all of his teeth almost I I would say to a to an extent that should not be possible. The the extent we see his teeth are should not be possible. This is a very, very strange expression. Um 
and his his expression is so tall that it kind of it's having hard he's having a hard time fitting in on his face. Um just a little bit. <laughs> and he's got two part speech bubble that says, "Oh, I don't care if you forgive me or not. As long as you're by my side, I'm happy." Electro point. Honestly, three electro points. Panel four. I would say we zoom in a little bit more. Just a little bit more because we, we don't even see any of his arms. We, they're both down. And um, so, it, so it's cut in a little bit more. And he grins at the camera and basically does the wife face. He does his equivalent of the wife face. And I, and I, and I know, I can, I can tell that's what it's supposed to be <laughs> because... Uh, the shadow synopsis was like father, like son. So clearly, he's 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 like he's given the 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 not the the titular, actually titular Mister Boop energy, the Mister Robbins energy now, um, but without the depression, the old whatever. You know, you get what I'm saying. Uh, he's giving the he's like giving the wife face at the camera. He's mugging for the camera and doing the wife face. But I guess it's, in this case, it's the daughter face. And he's got a thought bubble that says, I love my daughter, Betty Boop. Three electro points. Um, weird. Okay. This is. Okay, first of all, there, so the fact that. They're they're filming this on a set. Like we we know that we should, we, they they needed her to film the. I guess we kind of already knew this. They needed her to record the the to, to film the new cartoons, and that's what they're doing. Um, but this is like basically Garfield gets real. Uh, logic. I guess I guess some people might say may may say Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Okay, sure, that works too. Actually, we'll say we'll say Who Framed Roger Rabbit. I don't know. I don't remember how... It's been a while since I've seen that. I know the uh, Who Framed Roger Rabbit starts with um, them filming a cartoon, right? And then and then it's like... And then it's like cut, and then we see like the set and stuff and everything. But I can't remember if the set after that was... Remained like a cartoon. I'm trying to remember how Who Framed Roger Rabbit went. So, I know um, Eddie... No, I'm not. I'm, or I won't. Got you know. I, it's an old movie. People, will, people will be like, "Yeah, spoiler, uh, spoiler, um, uh, whatever." It's it's up. You can spoil it, whatever. Um, and this is not a big spoiler. It just says what happens later in the movie. But I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it because if you haven't seen it, you should be able to enjoy it still. That's what I believe. Um, but we see more cartoon stuff later on. But I don't remember if we see it in the beginning, if if we see them in front of like a cartoon set. This is not a cartoon set. This is like a physical set. This reminds me more of the Garfield Gets Real type of thing. I guess, okay, no, it, it is more Who Friend Roger Rabbit. Because that, I just, I'm just remembering now, that's comic strips. So that doesn't really make sense. Except, I mean, this is a comic strip, but they're not filming a comic strip. They're, they're, they're filming cartoons. Which is not a thing you need to do, but in this world you do. So this is Who Framed Roger Rabbit type um, logic, possibly uh, possibly uh, Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers type logic. It, I don't know that movie's not out yet, so who who knows how that's going to be? I hope it's good. I like The Lonely Island. Um, people people keep like uh, I f all the criticism or, or whatever, all the talk I see of that movie is like. People, uh, people seem really skeptical about it because it's Disney. But in my mind, I'm not seeing it as a Disney movie. I'm seeing it as a as, um, I think it's directed by Akiva from The Lonely Island and starring Andy. And I I assume Droma probably worked on it. So to me, it's a Lonely Island movie, and I trust I trust The Lonely Island. Um, I don't trust Disney, but I feel like I feel like it's The Lonely Island's vision. Maybe Disney like wouldn't like give them the budget for full 2d or whatever and like and like maybe force them to put stuff in but i don't know whenever i see like i've seen like criticism like 
oh my god they referenced uh this this thing even though disney did all this stuff and you're like well they disney may have done this stuff but i, I mean and it is disney's movie but i'm just, but like i don't know they the lonely island they can't help that the people who made the movie they can't help what disney's done in the past they that's not i mean i guess they 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 should have known but but i mean <laughs> i don't know uh whatever i just, uh i'm not tr- i'm not i'm not trying to defend it i was just saying my thoughts here i think the movie looks interesting and i trust lonely island uh, but we'll see if that is another situation like where the who from brother robert situation where they're filming uh cartoons who friend roger rabbit style or mr boop style um mr boop the world of mr boop is interesting because not all characters it seems not all famous cartoon characters in the strip do have this history like betty boop is a famous cartoon star and that she films cartoons like this or she did popeye as well um when we we uh, alluded to him a little bit, I, I've lost count on my Popeye reference uh, sheet. I'm gonna have to update that. I'm gonna have to look up. I had a sheet on the spreadsheet that had that. Um, in the new uh, Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers movie, though, the, Roger Rabbit has a cameo in it. We see that in the trailer. Um, and. It, it it's interesting because uh, in that case i would assume he's not a character from Roger Rabbit but f- but from l- not from the Roger Rabbit cartoons but from who framed Roger Rabbit so it's not exactly a sequel it's like cuz I- in the universe of this movie i would assume of this upcoming movie i would assume He's from Who Framed Roger Rabbit and not from the cartoons within Who Framed Roger Rabbit, which did not really exist in real life. Except they did a little bit afterwards. I remember my Who Framed, um, my Honey, I Shrunk the Kids VHS. There was a Who Framed Roger Rabbit cartoon. I think they did that for a little for a few other Disney releases. That might have actually been when in the theater for Who, uh, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. It might have been a Who Framed Roger Rabbit cartoon. That's interesting though, because Who Framed Roger Rabbit came out in 1988. Honey, I Shrunk the Kids came out. Oh, the next year. Okay, so maybe. 1989. Um, anyway. So there's that in- aspect of it. The filming the cartoon aspect. That's, that's you know, that's interesting. Um, there's also the weird relationship. Uh, Mr. Boop, the, the titular, not titular, Mr. Boop has the daughter. The fact that is reminiscent of Alec. Her husband and he's her father that's there's some weird stuff going on there um i don't think it, it there's i mean i don't think there's anything weird going on i mean it, it, it it's it's weird the way it's being presented is weird is the thing but i don't i'm not really getting the impression that i i i think it, i think it is um I'm not gonna say innocent because he is he is kind of holding her there against her will, so that isn't innocent. Um, I'm trying. I'm, I'm kind of. I'm like dissecting this here. Um, the, I mean, it is an unhealthy relationship. I, I it, it, we did say that, and that's that that it is. Uh, it's weird that he's kind of it. I, I I'm whatever I'm just saying the same thing here, but it's it's weird that it's weird that he's doing the the wife face. That's the weird thing. That's the weird thing. <laughs> That's the weirdest part about it. Um, and I guess we'll we'll see where it goes from there. Uh, hope that Rescue Rangers movie is good. Rescue Rangers, that? yeah. I couldn't even remember if that was the title. I didn't watch that as a kid, so that's the other thing. <laughs> I'm kind of just I'm kind of just looking forward to it as a meta movie from the lonely island guys um you've been listening to being mr boop now in color you can visit the show's website at www.beingmrboop.com for a full catalog of episodes and a sign up to host the podcast for more updates follow at mr boop pod on twitter i'm at kenny 106 on twitter 
Um, you should follow, uh, and I'm also at Semi Sweet Stuffs on Twitter for everything I make. You should also follow at Lisa Dupe too, uh, for no reason. I don't know who that is. Um, please stop sending in uh, emails for that person because I don't know who that is. Please just follow their Twitter account instead because I don't, I'm not sure when you send the emails to Lisa Dupe, I don't know what you want to do with them. I don't know who that is. Please just follow them on Twitter. Um, and that's, yep, that's it. Okay. <laughs> Thank you and good night. <laughs>